Hi everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today, I am finally bringing you, not sure if I've ever even done this on the channel before, but I'm going to be sharing with you my skincare routine. And now more than ever, I feel confident to share it with you because these items are very, very consistent in the routine. There are always sort of changing parts, right? Like I try a lot of stuff. I like to get my finger on the pulse with all of the new releases so I can bring my feelings to you. But these are ones that I try, go back to, and if I was like, someone said, pick your skincare routine or it's all over, kid, these are the ones that I would choose, the ones that I go back to. So you're gonna see some Tata Harper here, which you're like, wait, didn't that just launch? Yes, but I was um, cheating on Integrity Botanicals and using Tata Harper before we carried it on the site. So I have actually been using a lot of these products long-term despite their availability on the website. Um, but with that exception, everything else you will probably come to expect from me because it's the things that I talk about all of the time. Now, if you're not a regular on this channel, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about my skin really, really quick, keep it brief, and then I'm gonna sort of get into the AM and PM situation. So, and I'm gonna try to actually do a little cutaway of my skin as I'm talking without makeup, so you kind of see where I'm at. So I'm 26 years old, um, that's something to make note of. Of course, I'm into the whole anti aging situation a bit prematurely, of course. Um, not only that, I have a more dry to normal skin type. It just kind of depends on the season, what products I'm using, time of the month, all of those type of things. My number one thing with my skin is discoloration and dryness underneath my eyes, as well as texture on the skin. So I have a really interesting skin type in the way that I need a lot of moisture on my skin, but my skin can't handle an overly rich cream or a ton, a ton of products. When I was young, I used to just slap it on when I was young, when I was younger, I should say. I used to really sort of pile on the skincare thinking that more was more. And though um, I believe that's often the case in life, um, with skincare, it turns out that was not the case. My skin just really couldn't quite handle it. So when I was 18, I sort of got um, congested, like like uh, under the skin acne. I got like adult acne. Um, and that sense has cleared up, which is great. But I still get texture on the skin. So I'll get a lot of texture here, get a lot of blackheads on the chin. I've got quite big pores in this area. And those are all things I try to mediate. So makeup sits nice around my skin. Of course, I'm trying to fight any of the wrinkles and signs of aging that I can as well. But that is my big thing that I'm looking for. So I like AHAs, BHAs, um, face oils, things like that. So just keep that in mind as far as this skincare routine because it is very specific to me. Anyway, let's just jump right into the AM situation. There's a lot of crossover between AM and PM. PM's just a little bit more heavy, heavy. So I like to start off my morning with the Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser. Now you're like, that one's not really used. What do you mean? I've used an entire bottle of this already. So I love this stuff. It actually is a daily BHA exfoliator. So this is really fantastic because it has a physical exfoliant as well as a chemical exfoliant that is gentle enough to be used every single day. So I of course love the glass packaging. The pump is phenomenal. It's got this little lock on it as well for if you wanna take it on the go with you. But there are actual apricot microspheres in here. So you can sort of see the texture within the bottle, but as you massage it into the skin, you will feel an actual granule texture, which I love. I think it's really great for getting off all the dead skin cells, things like that. Um, as far as the BHA, that is a chemical exfoliant that comes from willow bark. That is very common used in the green beauty space, but the combination of those two just makes for a really invigorating cleanse, a cleanse that makes your skin feel very clean, but without feeling stripped. So that is a very delicate balance and Tata Harper has mastered it. So I love that one in the morning. And then immediately following that, I like to go in with a mist. Sometimes it's a Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator, but the one that I always go back to because it's more of an essence and it's a little bit more rich is from Agent Nature. And this is their Holy Water. I've spoken about this product quite a bit. It has Bulgarian rose water. Of course, it has um, hyaluronic acid in here as well because it is a hyaluronic pearl and rose toner. So it's just very calming, soothing, and hyaluronic acid holds like 
a thousand times its weight in water, I forget the exact math, but essentially it helps water retention within the skin. So not only does it moisturize the skin, it keeps the moisture in, and that's very important. So I love this. I don't just take this straight from the bottle and spray it over my face. However, this is one, because it's a little bit richer, it's a little bit more on the essence side, like I said, I will actually just spray this into my palm. And you can see it's almost a mildly gelatinous texture. I'll rub it in, and I will just push this in to the skin. It smells beautiful like rose, one of my favorite scents ever, and um, that is always a go-to. That just kind of gives your skin that first little drink of water. Immediately following that, my all-time favorite facial oil. There is no way I can make this video. I think I've used two of these completely. Um, I've used up a little one, I've used up a big one, maybe two big ones. I don't know. The point is that I'm in love with it, and it is the Agent Nature Holy Water. This is their Ageless Face Serum my favorite facial oil ever, 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 ever. It just does not get any better. It's an oil that sits really beautifully on the skin. I love that I can use it both morning and night because it's not so slidey that you can't use it underneath makeup. It doesn't make my makeup shinier or break apart or anything like that. In fact, it makes my makeup sit nicer, absorbs into the skin very quickly. And um, because it has rose and a bunch of beautiful ingredients like that inside, it also helps with hyperpigmentation on the skin. It just sort of does a lot, but most importantly, hydrates the skin and provides a very nice base for makeup. Now in the morning, I like a very easy, lightweight eye cream. Sometimes I can go for an oil if, like I said, my under eyes are very, very dry. Sometimes I do need that added dose and I'll have to just give that a minute to sink in. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I love the 12 Beauty Rapid Eye Treatment. So this comes with a little pump as well. This is a cream formula. Um, there's a rice protein in here and rice protein is very high in collagen fiber, so it helps maintain the integrity of collagen underneath the eyes. And if you didn't know, collagen just naturally depletes as we age. It's just the way it is. There's also soybean protein in here, which helps improve elasticity underneath the eyes, as well as um, help reduce bags. It just maintains the integrity of the skin and helps from the degradation. Is that? Yes, yes of um, collagen within the skin as well. So that's something that I really, really enjoy as far as long-term effects, but short-term effects, it sits nicely underneath makeup and makes my eyes look very nice hydrated and it sinks in relatively quickly. So morning routine's really simple. I realize that that's the best for my skin. And nighttime routine's a little bit simple as well. I'm just gonna show some different variants that I will include. So the big difference with nighttime is of course, I am removing the makeup. So what do I like to use to remove makeup? There's a lot of great options on the website. So this one is more of my choice for the moment, Leilani makes an amazing one. My favorite one ever is probably from One Love Organics only because that does have papaya enzymes in it as well. So it helps with that little BHA exfoliation that I love so much. Um, but one that is new to me, I think it's at a great price point and is very gentle around the eye area is from Province Apothecary. And this is their moisturizing oil cleanser and makeup remover. So this has avocado oil and raspberry oil, ingredients that I found over the years that my skin really enjoys. But not only that, it's a nice slidey texture. Um, oils are always preferred in my world for removing makeup. If it's something that you have not tried, I highly recommend it because it will really even get off your waterproof sort of eye makeup. It really just breaks down the makeup and just gets it all off in one clean swoop. So I'll go in with this, so I'll just massage it all around the skin, be gentle around the eyes, but it'll just melt right off. Take a cloth, wipe it off, and you have a nice moisturizing base because of the ingredients in here. So it's simple, um, to the point. I always love that about Province Apothecary items, and this is a newer one to me that I've really enjoyed using. Um, I've already mentioned those other variants, but Tata Harper also has a nourishing oil cleanser that I've been interchanging with that one. This one is new to me, however, but I have been absolutely loving it. So since Tata Harper is new on the website, I wanted to just sort of drop a mention of that one here. For cleansers, we're gonna go back in with our regenerating cleanser. It's good for both morning and night. I love that about this item, but I'm looking for something a little bit more intense. This one I noticed I got to be a little bit more careful with um, because if I go crazy with a bunch of acid, sometimes my skin can get overly dry. So if you have sensitive skin, keep that in mind. My skin is a little bit finicky when it wants to be sensitive, um, so I'm just careful with this one. Um, but this is from Agent Nature. This is their acid wash. So this is a lactic acid 
brightening cleanser. This one does not have the manual exfoliation. It is all a chemical or lactic exfoliant, um, but this is a really great one if you suffer with texture, anything like that. This is one that I will interchange with the regenerating cleanser. Then what I do on a nightly basis and what I love about this item is that it is safe to use on a nightly basis is I go in with Ayuna the facial and I'm going to keep this brief. This is probably one of my most talked about skincare items of all time. Ever since it launched and I discovered it, I just fell in love. They have both a low version and a high version. Start with the low if you have sensitive skin. If you are familiar with products like this, especially retinols or things of the things of the like um, in uh, modern cosmetics or skincare, I think your skin will be able to take this because it's this a lot more gentle. Like I said, you can use this every single day. So you essentially just shake it up. It is a powdery sort of consistency when you pour it out in the cotton rounds. So it'll almost look white when you start applying it to the skin and then it dissipates. But this is a um, it's essentially a facial in a bottle. So it has a combination of raspberry acid, um, sorry, raspberry vinegar, glutamic acid, as well as succinic acid. And I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but this essentially just helps improve the skin texture and appearance in a very for real way. This is one of those items that like, if my, my chin's going crazy, like not with acne per se, but like when it's my time of the month, I'll notice that I get a lot of congestion around the skin. I think it's just excess sebum production. Um, this is something that I will go in with and notice a difference right away. It's a really, really incredible. Um, and it layers nicely with other skincare products as well. But this is sort of like my secret weapon. If you buy one thing, this is the thing. It's really, really, really special. And I like how gentle that product is as well. So if I'm really feeling like we are going to lay it on, I am then going to go in with the Tata Harper Resurfacing Serum. And I just have the little trial size here. This is the second one of these that I've used up. Um, I will probably purchase the large one, but I also have a more hydrating serum that I like to use from Tata Harper as well. It just depends on what my skin is looking for, but I have been using this one. So the resurfacing serum has both AHAs and BHAs, and similar to the lot of product, the lot of products that I've already discussed here, um, it softens and smooths the skin, improves the texture, helps with fine lines, wrinkles, anti-aging, anything that really gets the cellular turnover going, does all of those things. So. In turn, this is great for helping with hyperpigmentation. If you have acne scarring, this is something to look into. If you have congested skin, like I said, this is something to look into. If you have very active breakouts, this might be something that's a little too intense on your skin. So be careful with this one. Like I said, I do need to be careful with the amount of layering that I do, but this is the serum of choice for the time being. Now for evening, I like to go in with a facial oil as well. So it's going to be the Agent Nature. I love that one. I use that both morning and night as well. And if it's not that one, I also interchange it with the Fit Glow Cloud Collagen Oil. And that goes for the morning too, but more so for night these days. I love both of these oils so much. I cannot say enough good things. The Cloud line is very, very, very amazing. If you have more sensitive skin, it is just a very nourishing, soothing, calming line as a whole. And this oil is no exception. It's very, very moisturizing to the skin. The, the Agent Nature is a little bit more serum-y. This one's a little bit more like a traditional oil. So if that's something you prefer, that might be the deciding factor between the two. But they both have gorgeous ingredients, sit nicely on the skin, and do what they say on the bottle. And that's really all that I can ask and hope for. And those are the two oils that I always always go back to. Finally, for eye cream, I've used a lot over the years. I like the Maya Chia Eye Achiever. I really like that one. I love the Arcana Avocado Eye Serum as well. But one that I am blown away by, and I just had to mention, in fact, that I changed it last minute, is from Tata Harper, and it is their restorative eye cream. So I've just been using this one for probably like two weeks or so at this point, and immediately I have, I, guys, I was having a period where I was like, what is going on with my under eyes like a month ago? I was like, I know I'm probably not drinking enough water and I'm not doing all of the things, but I feel like that's not different for me. I know I need to work on it. I'm just saying, these are the thoughts that are going through my head. I'm like, what am I doing different? I think it's just I turned 26 on the 1st of February, you know, that's what I'm thinking to myself. So anyway, I start using this guy and I'm like, this is the only thing that's different and my under eyes have been looking real good. And that's all I'm gonna say about that one, okay? It's really, really amazing. It fights the early signs of aging. It has a blend of 30 
active botanical ingredients in here. So I'm gonna leave that ingredient list down below because it is quite, quite lengthy. But whatever the magic potion in here, it is absolutely working on my skin. So if you have very dry under eyes, though this is a pretty penny, eye cream lasts forever. You need the littlest amount. So I'll just take a little, but like maybe not even a full pump on my ring finger, rub it together, boop, 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 all the way up the orbital bone and your under eyes are looking like a dream come true. So I will use that one. You could also use your 12 Beauty Rapid Eye Treatment. That one is amazing as well. But if you wanna kick it up a notch in the PM, that is my suggestion, and that is the one that I have been using. All right, final thing. I like to give the lips a little bit of love too, and a little bit of a life hack or a skincare hack, I should say. Sometimes I'll take my eye cream, rub it right on the lips. They're both real gentle areas. I like to do that sometimes, but if you don't know, now you know, the 12 Beauty Hyalur Oil Lip Treatment. I don't think I'm ever gonna get over this. I don't think I'm ever gonna stop talking about it. It is so special. There's nothing like it. Haven't tried it, haven't found it, and I've used every product on the Integrity Botanicals website, you guys. So I think I'm a bit of an authority on the matter, but this is the most hydrating, beautiful thing you will ever put on your lips. You are going to instantly notice a difference. I like to use this in the morning as well, but when I really remember to give my lips that little extra love, it is in the PM. And being that it is a bit more of a treatment and an intensive therapy for dry lips, this is a fantastic thing to use at night. So it's got a little rollerball applicator. Just put that right on. So extra amazing for the winter months, but as a little nighttime treatment that to give your lips a little extra love, this is fantastic. You can see it even looks like a really pretty lip gloss having just applied it right now, but it's got like a plush feeling to it. It almost feels like a thick glow lip color serum. That is how good it feels. That is how special it is. I cannot say enough good things. Woo! All right, everyone, that is it. This is a long time coming, so I'm sorry that it was a bit long-winded. I just wanted to make sure that I was really, really thorough with you, not only shared what the steps that I do, but why I like these products so much and why I like them for my skin type and the order in which I like to use them. So if you enjoyed this video, you enjoy these products, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I do upload new videos here every single week and I don't want you guys to miss them. I do also upload bonus content over on Instagram once a month as well. This month is a good one. It's going to be coming. It will have already come this passing week, I believe. If not, it'll be the week following. I'm going to be comparing some mascaras. So I'm putting my eyes through it to show you how different mascaras look on my eyes. I was doing a lot of lip products, but then I'm like, wait, we're wearing masks. Let's focus on the eye, so that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, but please let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns about my skincare routine, products that you've seen me use in the past, or anything that I have mentioned here today. I would love to help you all out. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for all the love and support. Please check the description box down below for every single product mentioned, for the makeup I have on my face, and for all of our social media uh, channels as well. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.